Hello everyone, my name is Samal Fadli. I am an information systems engineering student at Cybert International University. So as this instructional video is my project in cloud computing course, I will show you how to create an account when IBM Cloud Services is provided and also I will explain one of its products, which is cloud object storage. So now let's go to the IPM Cloud website by searching on Google. Choose the first one. If you haven't created an account before or registered yourself, you can create a new account easily by uh, press this create an account in here you have to type a valid email for your account and create a new password after that a verification called a uh, code sorry will be sent to your email by the IPM cloud and then personal information will be requested after that, your account will be successfully created. For me, since I have registered myself before, I will log in directly by my email. I will type here my email. So as you can see, it looked me in successfully. You can see here my dashboard. Here is the summary of your account. Um, as you can see, it's almost empty since I haven't used or deployed uh, many resources before. Here, uh, it shows the analysis, uh, analytical chart of the usage. So for now, let's start by exploring the products that we get by creating the IPM Cloud account. By pressing in here the navigation menu, you can see all the services and the products that we have. You can also scroll down to browse all the surfaces. You will see here the catalog of all the products that they have. There are 128 products from different categories. There is the containers, networking, storage, artificial intelligence, um, machine learning, and there are also the developer tools, integration. You can scroll down. There are also the Internet of Things tools and platforms. You have also the opportunity to um, filter your results to show only the free pricing plan by selecting this option. Now you can see only the free products. There are 58 products, like around 60. 
can choose whatever you need for your organization or your individual usage so as I mentioned uh, in the beginning of the video that I will uh, explain today the cloud object storage so we will choose the storage category scrolling down object storage surface by IPM so here is the cloud object storage so before we begin let me first talk about uh, the cloud object storage so what is the cloud object storage it's a surface that offered by IPM for storing and accessing and manipulating uh, the unstructured data this surface can store any type of object which is helpful for data archiving and backup web and mobile application and the persistent storage for analytics uh, usually organizations and individuals who prefer to use the surface uh, they usually want to the, flexi the flexibility to directly control and manage the objects. If you scroll down a bit, you can see the pricing plan in here. Um, it's totally free, zero cost. There is a, a default surface name in here, as you can see. You can keep it or you can change it as you wish for now I will keep the default one and then press the creating creating a button hmm. so it seems here that I already uh, have created one previously so as I showed you here how to create a new um, object storage I will check my previous one that I have created. I can check it from this search panel. You can type here the cloud uh, object storage, okay. Okay, before we continue, let me uh, explain briefly how does this, this uh, how does this cloud object storage works and the IPM cloud object storage um, it stores the objects that are organized into buckets each bucket identified by a unique and user assigned key okay so after creating the object storage we have to create a new bucket so here are the buckets okay and they are empty in here we can create a new one by clicking the button and then click this little arrow of for uh, customizing the bucket here is the unique bucket name which we will name it Of course, you have to follow the naming rules of the IPM website. It must be unique. Uh, doesn't use, uh, doesn't include any personal information, and they must be lowercase letters and numbers. I will keep this one as a default. For the location. I will choose the US South you can create the bucket directly if you want or let me show you uh, there are advanced configurations they are optional but I will show you the archive rule policy 
you can add it by pressing this button um, many people may want to add an archive policy where which you can set a value for a number of the days which you want to move to the archive for example if we enter here a, a zero as a value zero days and save it this will not charge me any uh, thing will not charge me for the standard storage class fee and by entering zero days for this policy it can uh, easily be uh, the cheaper option that I might have or you can delete it rem or remove it it doesn't matter so since I already created I will keep it and scroll down to create the bucket so as you can see here the bucket created successfully here is the name of the bucket that we just created So for now, you can drag and drop the files or the object images, any type of files that you want in here. After that, after you drag it and drop it, you have to click this upload button. So this is how we create the bucket into the object storage. I will show you now how to create the surface credentials. Here is the one that I created previously. I will delete it and create a new one with you. I will confirm the deletion. To create a new one, we will, we, I just press this button. There's a default name, you can keep it or you can change it as you wish. I will keep this one and keep the rule as it is, writer, and add the credential. So the credential uh, created successfully. So this is the new credential that we just created. Here are the buckets. Let me show you. This is the one we just created. You can see the details of them. If you want to see the extra features, you can press this three buttons. You can delete it or you can access with uh, the, po the other policies and any other features that you want. For now I will keep it, but in case you want to delete it, you can delete it easily by clicking this button. Confirm that delete. So it deleted successfully as you can see in here. To create a new one as I showed you before. So to conclude this tutorial, the object storage surface is um, usually preferred to use to be used because of its scalability. It has a scale performance and the huge capacity provided by the IPM cloud services provi uh, provider. Also, the simplicity of accessing the, da the data concurrently from any location from wherever you, you are and at any time. And also there are many benefits to use this object uh, storage. There, there is also the security of this object uh, storage. Many organizations and, indivi and individuals prefer to use it because of its security. No one can access it without the 
user key, uh, user the unique user key that we assigned it. So this is for today's tutorial, and thank you for watching, and have a good day.